We are in Bratislava, Slovakia, a country with a rich beer history. So of course we're going to do a taproom safari here. And the first place is just behind me. One IPA, one sour. Do you have an imperial stat? It's your choice. We are making a taproom safari and the bartender needs his shoes. Uh, give us one IPA, one sour yeah. and your favorite. Okay. We are at the Misugi Craft Beer Pub. And we have got a very interesting selection to start off this Taproom Safari episode. We have one IPA, one New England IPA, and it's replacing the Imperial Stout because it didn't have an Imperial Stout on tap. So this is the bartender's pick. And finally we have a sour. It doesn't smell like an IPA. I would say honey. It's a very neutral smell and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it tastes a lot. Bitter. There's a lot of grapefruit in it. Still honey. Bitter, fruity IPA with a lot of body to it. Sounds like a weird combo, but it's still a good one. I like it. I'm gonna say it's a 3.1. I give it a 3. Juicy Lucy. To me, the scent is passion fruit. Oh, it's so good. There is a lot of passion fruit in it. Bubbling. It's thick. It's sweet. And it's a summer beer. Oh yes, it's perfect. And it tastes like passion juice, 3.5. I'm gonna say it's a 3.7. And finally we have the sour. And the sherry taste is very subtle. Yeah, but it's like sherry ice cream that has melted in a glass. It is there, but it's not the prominent feature of the beer. It has lost its scent and it has lost its being. It's kind of a floaty flavor. This is the philosophical <laughs> episode of Tapu Safari. It's more like a milkshake sour. It's very refreshing. I will still grade this 2.8. 2.9. The venue is really nice. There's a big open terrace and if you look inside, it will be a perfect beer place. But still, not more than a 3.2. It's a cozy place. It really fits its purpose. It's a beer place, just like you said. We are here in the afternoon, so we're the only guests. So it's hard to give it a fair evaluation. But I'm going to say it's a free. The staff is really friendly, really helpful. He just jumped on the opportunity to choose the beers for us. So I'm going to give him a 3.2. I think uh, he was very friendly. And we give him a 3.3. Safari is the 100 Piv Craft Beer Bar and Shop. Sounds promising. Not the passion, not the fruitiness that usually comes with an IPA. I'm gonna say it's a 2.9. 
2.3. This here, this is a little bit of with coconut flavor. You really smell the coconuts when the bottom have a product. Mm -hmm. Almost like sun cream. And the taste is almost like drinking sun cream as well. It has a lot of coconut flavor. No, I'm not into this one. I'm sorry, I will give it 2.2. The last one smells sour. Scent is fruity. It's a sour sour, like a light scented. A lot of lime in it. And this I really like. It's also a thinner one. But it's a good one. Refreshing on a summer day. Perfect for a summer day. Not that strong. 2.7. I'm going to say it's a 3.1 as well. It's a small venue. Not a lot of room here, so you can't be too many people at the same time here. It's apparent that they prioritize the beer, which I appreciate, but not the venue. So I'm going to say it's a 2.8. It's quite a small place. I like the sign over here. After a couple of years, you need to keep things clear. <laughs> I give this venue 2.6. He is great. He's super friendly. He tried to help us pick out these beers, but I also recommend that tons of other places and really went above and beyond. So I'm gonna say it's a 4.5. The stop. Oh my god, what a friendly guy. I appreciate service. I appreciate when people help you out, care about your guests. Excellent. It's like a friend, a good friend who gives you a good piece of advice. 4.5. to our next tap room. It's called Be Unorthodox. Interesting name in this part of the world. safari taste tray. We have one IPA, one sour and one imperial stout. Let's start with the triple west coast IPA. Oh, As you can see on the color it's very rich. It's a good one. Bitter. It's definitely on the thicker side of IPAs. Dark honey. Yeah. Very very nice. Mm. I really like this one. It's a lot of honey. I will give this 3.6. This is a 3.7. Really good. I'm so excited about the sour. I like the viscosity of this one. It's thick. Not much of a scent though. Ooh, but the taste. Also a very good one. Smooth and still sourish. The thing about sours, the more I try them, the more I find that the balance between how much bubbles, how much gas there are in them, and the flavor, that's a trick. And this one is perfectly balanced. Perfect combination. Perfect. I will as well give this a 3.6. It needs to be a 3.8. As you can see on my face, the imperial starts. I have high hopes for this one. It's supposed to taste like banana. There's a lot of coffee. And it does. And banana. Oh, it reminds me about that good banana beer in Krakow. There's licorice in it too. Will you taste it? Oh, it's drinking dessert. I'm not that big on banana, so... Oh, it's excellent. It's so rich. It's so flavorful. Coffee. I think it's a really good hero stout. Banana. It's nice. Almost a little chocolate. But I'm gonna say it's uh, 3.1. I give it a 3.8. The venue is really cool. 
There are tables along the street, there are tables inside of the alley here, and inside it's quite small and crowded, but still a really good bear place. 3.6. Before grading the venue and the staff, I have to say the lineup we have here today is probably the strongest one alongside with La Botica de la Cerveza in Malaga, which is for us the best craft beer that we've ever been to. The venue, it's nice, it's kind of cozy, more like a vintage style pub. I'm going to say it's a food. The staff was really sweet, made her choice, picked the best IPA for us, thank you. I would give her a 3.6 as well. She was really sweet and she really tried her best to find good beer and she really did. I'm gonna give her a 3.6.